planning maintenance procedure for computer system and networking. Hi, my name is John Lloyd Marshall and today we will discuss this. So basically, in preparing maintenance procedure, you also have to consider designing a systematic plan for both hardware and software. Let's proceed to letter A. Design a systematic maintenance plan for hardware. Number 1. Design a systematic monitoring, evaluating, and updating. In preparing maintenance procedure, you also have to consider designing a systematic plan for both hardware and software. This saves time, money, and frustration and ensures safe condition to prevent injury to people and damage to computer equipment. Number 2. Place your computer in a well-ventilated area. Be sure to place your computer case in an area that is well-ventilated and has a good airflow. This will help to prevent the computer from overheating. Number 3. Schedule the use of computer for its longer life. Your computer is made out of many moving parts, and these parts get hot during use. This causes the metal to expand and then contract when it cools down again. This promotes unavoidable wear and tear and will cause parts to fail after many uses. Number 4. Move the computer only when it is turned off and unplugged. Many computers use a battery to maintain the real-time clock and some other memorized parameters. This battery is used when the computer is unplugged. Thus, unplugging the computer or turning off at the outlet causes the computer to revert to the battery which eventually runs down after a few years. Number 5. Treat your computer properly. Keeping your PC in a tip-top condition lengthens the life of your PC both internally and externally. A glitchy operating system, overheating CPU, or fast-draining battery are avoidable computer which that a bit of regular maintenance could defend against.